Hi, and welcome to lesson 11 of our phases of matter unit. Here we're going to look at the last of our relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature for any gas, which is called Gay-Lussac's law or Aminton's law. Gay-Lussac's law deals with pressure and temperature relationships at constant volume. Quite simply, at constant volume, the pressure of any sample of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature. Let's think about this for a second. If we're keeping the volume constant, any change in temperature is going to have a similar effect on the rate of collisions in our gas sample. If we have a confined volume of gas in a particular sample, it's going to have a particular pressure. As we increase the temperature of that sample, it's going to increase the kinetic energy of our gas, and it's going to cause the pressure of our sample to rise at constant volume. In real life, Gay-Lussac's law can often play a role in things like tire blowouts. The warnings on tire ratings often include statements that you should not overinflate your tires. You may have wondered why that's the case. The reason has to do with Gay-Lussac's law. As you use your car on the road, the volume of gas that's in the tire begins to heat up. Since the volume of the tire can't really change as the gas heats up, the pressure inside of the tire continues to build up. If your tire is too overinflated, this can cause a blowout in your tire, causing your tire to just pop, which is a very, very dangerous thing to have happen, particularly at 50 miles an hour. This is just one example of Gay-Lussac's law in real life. Anytime we're dealing with pressure and temperature relationships between gases at a constant volume, Gay-Lussac's law is going to apply. Mathematically, Gay-Lussac's law can be stated as follows. For any gas at constant volume, the pressure divided by the Kelvin temperature is equal to a constant value. This also means that the initial pressure divided by the initial Kelvin temperature is going to equal the final pressure divided by the final Kelvin temperature. Mathematically, this is also a direct relationship similar to Charles's law. And so graphing it will get the characteristic straight sloped line. Let's look at an example of Gay-Lussac's law from our packet. This is on page 15. A 10 liter sample of a gas in a rigid container at one atmosphere and 200 degrees Kelvin is heated to 800 degrees Kelvin. Assuming that the volume remains constant, what is the new pressure of the gas? Pause the video, take a moment, and see if you can solve this on your own. And then when you're ready, let's go through the solution together. We're going to use Gay-Lussac's law to solve this. Simply put, P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Going into the problem and pulling out the values that I need, I get an initial pressure of 1.00 atmospheres, an initial temperature of 200 degrees Kelvin. I want to know what my final pressure is, that's my unknown, and my final temperature is 800 degrees Kelvin. Cross multiplying and dividing to isolate x, I get that x is going to be equal to the product of 1 atmosphere times 800 degrees Kelvin divided by 200 degrees Kelvin. Doing this math, I get a final answer of 4 atmospheres for my final pressure which is exactly what we should expect given that we've quadrupled our initial temperature to our final temperature. We should expect that our initial pressure should also quadruple as well. Does this make sense? If it doesn't, take a moment and write down any questions that you have before we wrap up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you can do the following things here at the end. Make sure that you can explain Gay-Lussac's law at both the macro and atomic levels when describing the behavior of a gas. Also make sure that you can use Gay-Lussac's law to solve pressure temperature problems like the one that you were given in this video. If you can do both of those things, you're doing great. If not, take a moment and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave those questions in the comments below the video or get in touch with me through the information in the info field. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.